Hello, and welcome to Casual Run Gaming. You might not know this, but this is my second attempt at this because, for some reason, the uh, cord was pulled out of my microphone. So, but here we are. Welcome back, everyone, to this Friday edition of Mass Effect. Yeah, tonight we are actually going to be doing some main quest, believe it or not. You know what we should probably do, though, uh, is do our little bit of rounds here. Real quick, yes, Commander. Do you have any nothing new to say? Okay, good. Carry on, Presley. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. You are so valuable to the operation. If Joker has anything new to say, I don't think he does. We actually haven't done any. Commander. Something you need? Yeah, we haven't done any. I have to go. All right. Any you. story stuff in forever. We're about to do story stuff now. We landed in, on Pharos. I just want to make sure to see like. I know we did Rex's loyalty mission, so I just feel like we should probably check things out before we get going. There's probably going to be a lot of dialogue tonight, so prepare yourself for that. Go see if Caden has anything new to say. Probably not, because he's being his super interesting self. Anything you need, Commander? I'm looking for a tactical appraisal, please. What's your opinion on the last mission? Doc. Same. What's your opinion on? Seems like, I mean, if you Same like stuff. We'll talk another time. She's easy on the eyes. Shepherd's Locker. We got a Punisher 9. And an Avalanche 8 Punisher. Uh, whoa. That's, that's, that's good. That is not as, uh, yeah, I'll stick with what I got. I'll stick with the Volkov. Volkov. I'll stick with that. Let's see how Liara is doing. She's our not love interest. I don't think I'm actually trying to get a love I interest. Get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. But if it just happens, it happens. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Nothing. I should go. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I should go. All right. Let's go see if at least Rex has anything new to say. More than likely, no. Nothing. I should say. Not no no equals nothing. No is nothing. Hey buddy, high fives. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. That's right. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Oh yeah? Adventures you say? Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. <laughs> Volus diplomat? I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Oh. Ah. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. She was a merc? An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. <laughs> then what? So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, 
but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. <laughs> what about the fight? What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. Did she get out? I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. <laughs> so I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> hmm. Now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least for a bit longer. Hmm. What about the Volus? What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. He told him that? And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. <laughs> uh, ooh, we have a selection here that's mercenary. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. You like it then? I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. Hmm, I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Cool. We're best friends now. Commander? Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Oh my this gosh. Never, never talking. Did we ever talk to Garrus after Dr. Hart? Commander, I wanted to thank you. Here we go. Thank me. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. Hey, you bet. You're welcome, Garrus. <laughs> okay, good talk. Um... Yeah. Let's talk Looking to the requisition officer. Yes. Whoops. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I did buy a new license, so... Armageddon X. Wow, 598,000 credits. Wow. Uh, Scorpion 4 heavy armor. We're currently using Mercenary 6. I don't know. I, I I think what I'm using is might just be better. Oh, he he doesn't have much in here anymore. Dude, what what happened to everything? Huh. He lost most of his, uh, inventory. Wonder what happened.
Okay. Let's get upstairs and get on that map. Oh, that's not what... No. Go back. Go back. Uh, go back. We're already on Pharos. That's why we're going back. Alright, my dudes. Let's go. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, here we go. David Altalakati. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Um. Who? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Whoa! Spotted. Holy! Oh my gosh. I thought that guy seemed, um, suspicious. Y'all dead? Caught me by surprise, they did. Oh. Oh, I see you. Don't be silly. Alright, there's another one of you over here. <laughs> you did. Hey, Garrus, what are you doing by? Behind there. Nice. This place got a major uh, facelift from the way things look. It was like really like. Uh, I mean, it's still brown, but it was like super tan brown when I played it on the 360 all those years ago. Oh, you think you're tough? I've fought some of you before already. Where are you? This this reminds me of Gears of War in here. <laughs> Getting some definite Gears of War vibes. Wait. Oh, whoops. I needed to go this way. Dude, uh, could you stop for a sec? All targets down. Keep your eyes peeled, though. Keep your eyes peeled, there, partner. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? No, uh, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go. Okay. Easy peas. Greta Reynolds. Does Geth are bloody dangerous. Mm-hmm, they sure are. Colonist. Get ready. Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers are getting thin. Matcha Doyle. If we don't die of thirst, the Geth will surely kill us all. May O'Connell. How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? You're dead. I'll go in there in a minute. Lydra. I fear the Geth will kill us all. Probably. Probably. You're just standing there doing nothing, so. Any loot or anything hiding over here? No? Does not appear to be that way. going here he was hanging out in here Davin Reynolds the Geth are mounting another attack you're mounting another attack are you kidding it's like all they ever do hey ninja how's it going man how has Friday been treating you how was your fiesta lime chicken last night it sounded delicious there, there. 
My headaches are getting better. I just have to stop thinking about the past. <laughs> Her, her last name is Blake. I wonder if she's related to Helena. Uh, public Extranet Terminal. The Geth just keep coming. They do. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're Friday, slow and eight. Hey, Shadow, how's it going, man? But they should know. Uh, I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Uh, what's wrong? Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She yeah, she has her eyes closed. That can't be good. I'm just having a lot of trouble falling asleep, that's all. Uh... I'm jammed. Let's let's go around this way. <laughs> Everything is jammed. I've got no toast to go with it. But I, I don't know how to use a gun. Beat them with the end of it if you have to. <laughs> Just don't let those geth get by you. Yeah, don't let them. Stop the geth. They're coming. They just keep on coming. The Geth can't be allowed into the heart of the colony. They'll, Whoops. they'll be here any minute. This work must be completed. Okay, they're not letting me use the computer. You're just you're just gonna leave that body there? You got peanut butter? Alright. Peanut butter and jam is very similar to peanut butter and jelly, so I th I think they'll take that. I think that'll be good for them. <laughs> No time to clean up the body. <laughs> no time to clean up the body. I must stand here. Ready for anything. The Geth just won't stop coming. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Okay. Sure thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, out, out of the way. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, I was going to say it. We're good now. We're not. There's more coming. Are they not going to come help us? Is that... Who are they shooting at? Whoa, what are these? <laughs> oh. They're dead. Anyone else? Headshot. Area secured. Area secured. Alright, we've got a couple ways we can go here. Go this way first. Just woke up from a nap. I'm a, st I'm a sleepy shadow. Dude, I, I'm so jealous of you that you're able to take naps. I don't do well with taking naps. If if there's light outside and I, and I know it's light out, I cannot fall asleep. Commander, I believe we're going the wrong way. The tower is behind us. He's mad about it. I'm just checking for loot. Is that okay, Garrus? Maybe we'll come down here later. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to make him mad at me, though. Yeah, this is very Gears of War-like here. Presently out of service. All right, who wants some? I know you're there. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I 
Um, where, where's my help, dudes? Like, get out there. Well, ah, I was gonna say, I think there's someone behind us. All right, we leveled up. Are we good now? Nice. Oh, look at this. We should update Fi Dan on the situation before we move on to wherever the Geth are bunkered. He's the closest thing left to proper channels. Okay, he's the closest thing left to proper channels. But wait, there's loot. Well, there isn't much light in my bedroom. The bedroom and the office have blackout curtains. Ah, okay. I'm coming. Sorry, I was looting. Yes, it's very important. You understand. Right? You don't loot. You you lose the game. I can't, I can't lose the game. I like the music. Yeah, this place does look much, much better. It is still very brown, but it looks much better than what it used to look like on the 360. Yeah, and I still stand by that. It looks very Gears of War-ish. Am I going the right way? I don't even know. I have enough loot for two playthroughs, thanks. <laughs> oh, look at that. It swung me right back around. Nice. This dude's ready for anything, and like they never helped. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. That's right. Happy to help. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. They do. And you were also the one who was really upset with me because it took us so long to get here. Do you not understand the importance of side quests? My goodness, don't worry. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Exogeny? I've heard of them. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Oh yeah, well, I'm prepared. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Oh yeah, tell me a little bit about the Geth base, please. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. A hard fight, she says. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Mass Effect 1 is potentially one of the shortest games ever if you do no side quests. Oh, really? You know what? I was thinking of that earlier, and I'm like, you know, like, you can probably finish the game in like six hours if you just do the main quest. <laughs> uh... Exactly, the Armin, the Armin, the army ain't stuff for a shepherd. It ain't crap. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Okay, but then why are you giving me the options to talk to you about these things? Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. Power. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. Okay, I'm not going to talk to him about food because he's just going to say, Go talk to someone else! It's, it's middle management here. Uh, Geth and tunnels. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnels somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Another topic. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Of course, Commander. Uh, I was wondered what that. Why is stuff worse than <laughs> crap? Even though they are both the same meaning. Technically, 
crap is it, it's n another word for junk technically <laughs> operational what do you need done to get this place back on its feet we need those geth destroyed arcelia's right there are still I'm okay. not sure where we that's the same stuff he told me matters. about before you should talk to the people um, seeing them. funny thing Let's though talk about zeus hope and pharos in general of course commander like speaking of those words you know what word i think sounds the worst out of all of them that can you be used interchangeably and my wife uses it all the time and it drives me crazy is the word crud <laughs> crud to me just like sounds like so incredibly gross and <laughs> she'll always say that and then i and then i usually go to crap but she always uses crud and i'm like crud just sounds worse than crap the colony tell me about your colony life is hard and often brutal even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Unlike anything I've experienced before. Hmm. How many people lived here? How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site. Two hundred more at my outpost. Wow. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. Wow, there's only like what, like ten people here now. If you guys uh, are old, I haven't heard cried in like twenty years. You know what's funny? You say that, but we're we're going through the Ninja Turtles um, show that that was on Nickelodeon like ten years ago or something, and we were watching it. And I think it might have been Casey Jones said crud, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like. I don't think I've ever heard the word crud in anything. And then he says it, and my wife look, is immediately looked at me and was like, oh, did you hear that? Yeah. I, I could evacuate you. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. Okay, uh, tell me a little bit about Exogeny. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. What artifacts? I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. Hmm. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. This seems very suspicious. Are they lying to me? Spe specifically him. I feel like he's hiding stuff. Also, those things are just going to float there like that. Oh, they disappeared now. But look, but when you're... Is that some sort of bug? Like what like what is going on here? I don't remember that ever being part of Watch the out! Holy, Scouts what is going on here? here I don't know how much more I can take. Uh there was one there. Also, look at the way you're holding that pistol. That's probably part of the problem. Look at that fire. Oh. Who who put the Mako here? Thank you. Thank you to whoever did this. That's helpful. You know, I, I am curious though, right? This is gonna be outside. Oh no, I didn't talk to any of the people to like help them out with water and power and food. I gotta go do that. I I, I have to it's important. If you guys are old, oh, okay. I just read that same thing again. I am definitely old because I just read the same message twice. Can confirm. Did those green things? No, the green things are still there. <laughs> I am very old man. What's up with that? What with those green lights? Shadow, do you do you know anything about that? Like, is that a known bug too? I hear shooting. Davin, you're the one who repelled that last wave. I am. They'll be back. 
And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Oh, well, you know. Short-term memory is going. Yep, old. <laughs> uh, read the message three times and I'm young. Oh, you read it <laughs> three times and you're young. Wait, what's the bug? Um, every time I keep on going this set of stairs and like around a couple corners, there's this green light. I don't know why. It's just there. It looks like um, some of like some uh, weapon fire, but it's like stuck in midair and it just won't disappear. Even though I even loaded into another area and came back. You need food? Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. Unbelievable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I could fly some supplies in. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Uh, tell me about the colony. Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not game breaking. It's just kind of weird. I guess it's more immersion breaking. I guess. Uh, no, I'm not talking to Fidan because he's an idiot and sent me to you. You tell me. Why should I speak to Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. Huh? Personal questions. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Uh, hunting Varen. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. Mm. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Okay. I have to go. I have to go. So long, Commander. So long, farewell. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Commander, uh, what do you have for sale? Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Oh, really? Halia Armory License. I will take it. Everything else... Not so interesting. Is there something I can do for you? I'm told to make all my goods available. Appliga Viron? <laughs> oh, Alpha Varen, I think is what you tried to say. I, I am the Alpha. I'm the Alpha Shepherd. How about you tell me about the colony? What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here, too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. This dude is so chill for what is going on here. Literally almost 1,200 people who used to live here are dead now, and he's just like, it's actually not that bad. You know, you should probably consider living here. Let me talk to you about this thing. Have you ever heard of a timeshare? <laughs> There's a war? I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> Why, question mark? This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you. Oh, uh, here I we can. go again with asking that guy. No. Um, stock. What are you going to tell me about your stock? I already looked at your stock. How do you keep things in stock in I hope this like isn't this? a dirty joke. My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. Shopping? Personal questions. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. Hmm. Name. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorat II Heranon Maldinest God Inost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. Hmm. Okay, long enough? Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorat II is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country. Maldinest and Got are the city and district where I live. 
I'm surprised that his social security number isn't part of his name at this point with how long that that name was and all the stuff that it means just gave me all you just gave me all that information I could steal your identity no problem or murder death <laughs> I'm not insane you're insane <laughs> goodbye <laughs> yes good luck yes good luck <laughs> I just sold you fault, a faulty license. Ha 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 May O'Connell. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. Thank you. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Oh, yeah? How about the Normandy's power cells? Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. Your top-of-the-line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. Okay, I'll see what I can do. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> that's not a name. That's a title. That is correct. And here is Maka Doyle. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Um, what's wrong? Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. Um, I could fly some water in. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. Do it yourself? That seems kind of mean. Tell me, you tell me about the colony, and don't you dare tell me to go talk to Faydan. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Faydan. It's oh my gosh. He knows the colony best. No, he doesn't. Tell, tell me about Pharos. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fidan or you, one of the others. You did it again. I, he, I, I don't want to talk to Fidan. He, he's very suspicious. Keep asking what you can do. You know what you can do. Kill all the Geth. Yeah, exactly. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> That's what they. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, Please help us or don't. Help us or don't. Otherwise, go. Go kill the Geth! Go. Leave me alone and go kill the Geth! Wish me luck, thank you. Uh, <laughs> apparently they do want me to go talk to Fiden, though. Dude's useless, though, I know it. Uh, nobody knows what, what he, what he needs to do. Talk to Fiden, <laughs> yeah, it, exactly, that's, that's, no, no one knows why they're here. Why am I alive? I don't know. Talk to Fidan. Fidan will tell him to talk to Fidan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go talk to the real Fidan. Commander, what can I do for you? I. The colony. Tell me about your life. Life is hard and often brutal, even with our uh, current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Okay. Unlike anything I've experienced before. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Okay, then uh, ob obviously they they just were brushing me off because he had nothing new to say. Nobody, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows the sorrow except Faydan. <laughs> oh, uh, Shadow, check this out, okay? Um, it's it's right here. So as I'm going up these steps, you see you see these green things? That's what they were firing at me. And then I go around the corner and it's there too. And then here, and then here, and then it, they disappear. It's really strange. Was this the way I was going? And Garrus was like, that's not the way to go. Oh, I, whoops, I, I didn't mean to shoot her in the head. I'm pretty sure I wasn't the one who killed her, though. <laughs> oh, and she disappeared. I feel better about it. She was fake. She wasn't really there. She was a ghost. <laughs> she ain't real. That's either what they were firing or potentially their eye lamps. It's one or the other. I, I've, it's just weird. It feels like a weird bug. Oh gosh, I I remember this area. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go to help them out. It was all in my head. I don't know, dude. Shadow saw it. All right. I do remember this part. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go to complete those missions. All right, here we go. Enemies down. Got a water valve here. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Okay, let's go do that. What's this light over here? This is all an illusion. It's actually a dream. It's all a dream. You're not even playing Mass Effect, you're staring at a trash can? Really? This is the fanciest trash can I've ever seen. Holy potatoes. Oh my gosh. It's a lot of enemies. Who else wants them? Oh my gosh. That was so bright. There's someone else in here. Oh, there's someone right here. Got him. Was there a terminal or anything in here? Aha. Doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. What I appreciate about this version of the game, too, is that everything is much more lit uh, than when I played it on the Xbox all those years ago. Ian Newstead. Dude, what the heck are you doing over here? You don't want to go down there. Uh, who are you? What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! Okay. Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. This dude is tripping! Uh, are you okay? What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. What? You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. What do you mean? Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm Trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> Let's go. He can't help us. This dude sounds like he's being taken over by a mind flayer. Uh, you're not even, uh, can, can I have what he's having? Are you sure you want this? Are you watching this? Uh, can I help? Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! <laughs> and honestly, if someone was acting like this in front of me, I would just shoot them. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> Fighting? Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Huh? Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Oh my gosh, here we go again, Fidan. Look out. Uh, look out. What? Whoa, hey. Uh, He's just standing there. He's just standing there. That dude is straight up just standing there getting shot. I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. They won't let me shoot him. You win this day. <laughs> he is fighting the mind, the mind control of Faydan. Could be. Poor dude sounds like someone kicked him in the head. <laughs> uh, he'd be on the ground holding his, his tummy. His tummy would hurt very, very much. There wasn't a way down here over here, was there? Nope. 
This looks like the end of the road. I think there's still one other lever, maybe. Got this one. There were a couple bridges, so... Uh, this is jammed, but... Oh, that actually opens! Whoa, what the dang? Whoa! Where'd you come from? Get out of the way, Rex! Whoa! Gotta be careful! Look! <laughs> A piece of it is floating! Oh, Krogan. Oh gosh, a bunch of Krogan. That dude just tried to charge into another Krogan. Oh my. Wow. Dude, four Krogan? Wow. Krogans are nightmares on insanity. You need a biotic with a singularity just to hold them down. Yeah, so so they don't move and they don't charge at you. Upgrade kit. Okay. Uh Okay, looks like that's down. It's still showing the X, but I'm pretty sure we're we're done here. Oh. <laughs> Apparently there's still a live signal there or something, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're done in there. Oh, look at this. What? I didn't... Oh, it's the Varen. Gotta be careful. Where's the Alpha? Oh, there he is. The Varen falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the Alpha Male, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. And it did now. Thinning out their numbers. Ooh, sorry about that. I had a had a cough. Oh, look, it's a doggo. A creepy alien fish doggo. <laughs> and that was easy. Yes. I make it look easy. Uneasy. Okay. Is, is there really, like, that? that's it? We don't have to, like, skin it in the fuel compartment? Oh. This old, old disabled vehicle was more willing to part with its still-functioning power cell than one would expect. Well, that was nice. Ooh, that was nice. How was my Friday? It was pretty good. Um, work was pretty busy, but um, it was good. Made made the day go by very quickly. But yeah, it was good. Um, I actually have a three day weekend coming up, so looking forward to that. Oh, we've, we've been jammed. Uh, 
that's it. <laughs> they're just standing there. I don't even know if they're really helping or not. We got this already, right? You were off today, so I got three week, three day week, weekend as well. What did you end up doing today? Did you play any games? There we go. We finished uh, the stuff with the. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system, Commander. Nice. Have I been over here already? I don't think so. Or is this where we came from? That might be where we came from. What is this? Geth transmitter. Did I not get that one? Garrus is all the way back here. He is, he is refusing. Hold on, let's see. Journal. Uh, Geth and tunnels. Okay. Yep, destroyed the Geth transmitter. All right, let's go. You wish, you wish you did what? That you have a long weekend. Looking forward to it. Baldur's Gate took my dog to the vet. About it, I see. How's your doggo doing? Also, how's uh, BG three going? You uh, still in Act Two? Oh, they're hanging out over here. What? Man, I was right there. I was right. Yeah, if anything, I have a shorter weekend than most because I'm doing overtime tomorrow. Oh, making that OT money. Dogs all right. And you're like 20% of the way through um, BG3. From what, from what I've been seeing, a lot of people are wrapping up their playthroughs at a, at about 130 hours. But those are also people who like are used to playing those types of games and stuff. I'm I'm sure it would probably take me a couple hundred. You're at 34 hours, five dollars an hour. Uh, on Saturday, sixty dollars an hour on Sunday. Wait, you mean? F oh, forty-five an hour on Saturdays and sixty an hour on Sundays. Wow, dude, that's a lot. What the heck? And you're twenty percent of the way through Act Two. Here's this guy again. What? No, I need to go upstairs. I need to go upstairs. What is going on here? I'm being punked. Yeah, that's a ton. Do they allow you to work that from home or do you have to go into the office? All right, I need to go south. So this way. Here we go. Because this place is so samey and everything is brown, it's a it's a bit easy to uh, get lost. All right, there's Fidan. We'll talk to him in a minute. I want to tell everyone that everything's working again. Wait, what the? What is this? Oh, it's Fidan. Okay. I can do it from home. The bosses prefer it from home, so that means they don't have to come in to watch over us. <laughs> Where I work, they've actually started um, a return to working in the office for a lot of um, workers. A lot of people not happy about that. Um, I, I am not affected since uh, I have always been remote. So I'm like grandfathered in and I also don't live within 30 miles of an office. So I got lucky, but at the same time, I don't think I would have been considered. I've been at the company for almost 12 years and I've worked from home 12 years. Just about. It'll be 12 years in January. Hello again, Commander. The Alpha Male is dead. I killed the Big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. 
I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Just pay up? Okay. Goodbye. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. Oh my gosh, 31,500 credits? And he's like, I, this is all I can spare? That's a lot. I don't know what he's thinking. They did a return to office for us, but we have hybrid schedules, so we can work from home a few days out. Of yeah, like that's so where so where we are, and it mostly affects people in like customer service and things like that. It doesn't really affect like anyone working in like a specialized role, but they're basically making it for anyone that got hired after July thirty first. You need to work like when you get when you first get hired, you can work from home. I think it's like. Or you don't get to start working from home until you've been there for like six months and you earn like two days. And then after 18 months, you can earn a third day. But they're like not hiring anyone unless specifically for a role. So like a specialized role, anyone else, they're not going to just hire to be 100% work from home. Um, they made exceptions because of all the lockdowns and everything. But um, since that's all over that they're they're stopping that and to be honest i think a lot of it is <laughs> because of the way businesses are <laughs> i think it's um and just from seeing everything that happened i think a lot of it is to kind of do a reboot on um employees because we we have a lot of people who just aren't really doing well in their roles and I think that this is kind of a way for them to be like, oh, okay, well, either you're going to start coming into the office or you're just not going to work here anymore. Again, that's not what they would tell you or like, that's not what they told us, but it's like, I have a feeling nice that's what they're doing. Glad you showed up. They're trying to write the ship in a way. Power cells for this generator, though. Take a look at these. <laughs> I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now, if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. Requisition money? And, and, th and we're not talking like a small amount of credits. That's a lot of credits. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. You can't even look now me in the eye. Okay. Deal with the well, and we can get back to growing this colony. She teleported and then looked me in the eye. Oh my gosh, she gave me, she gave me 63,000 credits. Wow. Is there something I can do for you? I'm told to make all my goods available. Goodbye. Yes. Okay. Good luck. I guess he doesn't do anything else. There is this lady here in front of this computer. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Uh, it landed about an hour ago, actually. Tell me about the colony. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but... It's different somehow. Different? What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fi Dan. Oh my gosh. Better than me. Oh my gosh. This dude's got some kind of hold on these people. Uh, yeah, some people abuse it. Uh, abuse work from home. But if it's used right, it's so helpful for workers. Yep, absolutely. And I think that's why they they've kind of reserved that, though. For, like, people who are 100% rep remote they tend to do it for like uh like dev teams um like the team that i'm on is like a specialized team that like this is what we do um yeah i like the return to home really affected a lot of the people who were customer service um and like working with clients on the phone and stuff like that because what was being found is that there was a lot of turnover there and one of the reasons that the people were using was my my management and my leadership isn't around enough. <laughs> Whenever it's like, hey, you keep messing up. Ah, yeah, it's just because my boss isn't around enough. <laughs> like, so uh, they started, uh, I, I think they started to see a trend. And I think, what do you do here? like I said, I think they're trying to write the ship in a way. I think ship, a lot of places are. sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. What are you doing? It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I I should get back to it. But Fi Dan, what's the report on? I should go. What's the matter? Well, maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? 
No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. This work must be completed. I, I, I can't talk right now. Oh, I'm she just... won't even talk to me anymore. What is the dele? What is the dele 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 -o? Commander? <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, tell me about the strange behavior. Yes, I did stop the geth, but tell me about the strange behavior around here. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved He's ones. He's a mind flayer. Friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'm not. I'm judging you, not them. Stop the geth. I destroyed a geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Another topic? Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Man in tunnels. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. No kidding. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. I mean, I know what it's like to never have the boss around. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. It, it, it's, it's nice to have that um, ambiguity, I guess. Like, yeah, like, well, I mean, I, I work with the manager on the team, but it's just because I'm part of leadership. But yeah, like, we're pretty much, we don't get involved in anything, like, in case if there's anything that we need to talk to someone about like oh hey you know do you need anything like we do check-ins and things like that but i'm very much a hands-off unless someone wants me to help them and if i have to step in like hey uh you know if something's going wrong or it's just not being done right that's kind of that's kind of my my role now a lot of support type stuff which i don't mind Medicate him. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Dude, fade in. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. This dude is just... I don't know. I don't trust him. I don't. There it is. Ow! Ow! They hurt. It burns. All right, let's go head into the Mako. To be helped out all the colonists. They're good there. This guy's... Or these guys are still here, just in case if uh, anything happens. And now to the Geth base. That's something an intelligent mind expects to say. ha <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, that was quick. The last batch went south. What are they looking for? I'm picking up a comm signal. It's too weak to pinpoint, but there's definitely someone out here. More on the comms, man, but I still can't get a picture. Any sign of movement? Lisbeth could still be in there. It's only been a few days. Hmm. Aren't there usually, like, some... I want to say, like, bunkers or something on the side here? Get up here. Who's hiding? I see red. 
<laughs> I'm not crazy, right? Like, where, where? Oh, there, there they are. Okay. See, so there's these little bunker areas. Ow! Who? Come on. Where are you? Down here? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. My goodness. Technician kit. Ooh, nice. A good little hack there, dude. Where my squad stayed outside? What is going on, dudes? Dudes, did I miss a bunker back here by any chance, dude? Where's Something is uh, laying down some major suppressive, suppressing fire. You're coming to Shepard. You don't need backup. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, right? All right, I guess we didn't miss anything. Dude, I missed the Mako. Or I'm or I'm going to miss the Mako. I can't remember if it's in three or not. And if it was in three, I don't think I ever got to the part where we used it. Or where it gets we used. Got Some kind of vehicle, not one of the guests. They must be close enough to see us. Forget them. We need to find the Geth. Forget them? I don't think so, dude. Let's let's help them out. Hold on one sec. Uh, 